So you're looking to move to Columbus, Ohio, and you want to know what it actually feels like to live here in the Buckeye State in the capital of Ohio. Well, you've come to the right place. Hold on. And I'm going to tell you the good, the bad, and the ugly of Central Ohio. Williams with EXP Realty here in Columbus, Ohio. If you want to know about Columbus, Ohio, you have come to the right place. If it's your first time on this channel, please hit the subscribe button right over here. Hit the little bell icon so you're notified when new videos are uploaded. If you are looking to move here or considering relocating, please reach out um, anytime, text, email, phone call, however you want to get your questions to me, I would be happy to help you. I actually have been born and raised here in Ohio, have relocated myself about eight times over the entire country, so I know how it is to relocate. And one of the top things when you're relocating is trying to get a sense of where you're moving. So here I put together kind of top 10 areas of how it feels about living in Central Ohio and we are going to go over the pros and the cons. Reached out to several people who have relocated, gotten their feedback. So let's talk about number one. The number one thing to think about living here is you're in the Midwest. It's got a Midwestern feel of a city. With the Midwest, it's friendly. It's a small town feel. You go into Starbucks, you go into your local coffee shop. People are gonna talk, ask you how you are. It's friendly. Um, people are proud to be from the Buckeye State and proud to be from Columbus. Ohio State is here and Ohio State really runs deep within the residents of Columbus. You are walking down the street, where else can you yell OH and someone that you don't even know is gonna answer you say IO. The second pro really has to do with education. I would say it's twofold. We've got higher education and then we have the public school systems when you're looking at K through 12. A pretty cool statistic is Central Ohio actually has 52, 52 university and colleges that are in the Central Ohio area. It was actually named one of the smartest intellectual cities um, in the nation due to the high concentration of higher education institutes that are located here. So the obvious is we've got Ohio State University, big public school. We have Columbus State, which is the second largest um, university here in Columbus. And we also have the smaller private um, colleges and universities like Denison, we have Capital, we have Otterbein, and we have my alma mater, um, Ohio Wesleyan, Go -oh Woo in Delaware, Ohio. And what's really neat about having all of these universities in such a small geographic location, it really gives a vibe of a vibrant area. There's lots of culture that's brought to us through the schools. It provides a lot of jobs um, that we'll talk a little bit about. So that's the higher education. Lots of restaurants come. There's lots of people who need to eat, obviously. It brings an influx of population, so we get lots of good restaurants. Then we also, when you look at education, looking at possibly you have kids that are relocating here and you're interested in the public school system and you want to know the public schools from K through 12. You are going to have a ton of school systems to choose from and they're very good school systems. In the state of Ohio, of the top 30 school districts in the state of Ohio, Central Ohio actually has seven of them, including the number fourth high school in the state of Ohio. Now if we break it down kind of into grade level, for elementary school, typically it depends on what school district you're in, but typically it's going to be kindergarten through fifth grade. Some of them do have a fifth and sixth grade, which is considered elementary. 
And for that in Ohio, out of the top 50 elementary schools, Central Ohio actually has 21 of schools in the top 50. Now when we break it down into middle schools, that typically, like I said, is gonna be sixth, seventh, and eighth grade. There are some middle schools, um, such as Worthington, which is going to have seventh and eighth in middle school. And out of the top 50 middle schools in Central Ohio, the Columbus area actually has 12 of those. But one of the cons is we, Central Ohio is growing. I, you know, especially during um, COVID when people are realizing they don't have to be in large cities like Chicago or New York City, they're able to maybe work from home, they're able, they want to live where there's a good cost of living, and lots of people are coming in to the Central Ohio Columbus area. What does that mean for the school districts? That they are growing. So there are some growing pains, and what I mean by that with the school system is it is common to get redistrict, um, as specifically if you look at Olentangy schools, we are one of the fastest growing school systems in the state of Ohio. And as we grow, when new homes are being built, they are looking and redistricting where a certain neighborhood, what school is assigned to. So the third thing we're gonna talk about is job market. It's insane here. There, it is growing. Um, so many businesses have, are coming to Central Ohio, kind of twofold reasons. One is the central location that it is in easy access to get to other large cities such as Chicago, New York City, to get to other areas of the country. You couple that with a low cost of living, and we'll, we'll, we'll talk about this. If you haven't, go ahead and check down in my channel and look up the cost of living for Columbus, Ohio. I'll touch much more in detail on that, but we have a really good cost of living here and we have a really educated population, which goes to the fact of all of the colleges and universities are here. New grads typically look to stay around the Columbus area, so it gives a good population of companies to um, to get employees. I, I, I thought this was this is kind of a neat statistic, and I think it has to do with um, kind of COVID and how all the markets have changed. Is in 2021, Columbus was ranked as the 13th best city for job seekers. In 2019, it was actually ranked the 34th. So it increased substantially. And um, that has to do with all the businesses that are coming here to, for, to make their headquarters here. So some of the businesses that are here that we have, we have L Brands is um, one of the top businesses that's Express, Abercrombie, Victoria's Secret, Bath and Body Works, all falls under L Brand. We have Wendy's headquarters. We have the Ohio State University, which is the biggest employer actually of Columbus because Columbus is the state capital. We have a lot of government jobs as well. We have um, Honda, we have miracle Grow has a headquarters in Marysville. Big Lots is headquarters here. We also have a huge health system with lots of jobs. We have Cardinal Health, we have Ohio Health. So when you look at the job market, if you're looking for a job in healthcare, in tech, um, working in the medical field, this is a great place for job growth. Now, when I kind of reached out to um, people who have recently relocated here and people who have lived here for a long time, I'm like, come on, oh, come, tell me what your cons are, what you don't like about living in Central Ohio. Two main things kept coming up. First one, orange barrels, construction. I mean, Anytime you go on the road, anytime you go on the expressway, the highway, 270, 71, I don't know how they can work on roads so long, but there's constantly red barrels. So there's all, or orange barrels, sorry. There is always construction going on, which sometimes can give you a little headache. Um, but speaking from experience, I actually, my husband and I, we lived in Chicago for about six years, and then we moved here from Chicago. And when you compare the traffic though, even though there is construction, and even though sometimes it, it does make for a little longer commute, 
it is nothing compared to the big cities traffic like Chicago rush hour, um, New York City rush hour, Texas traffic. It is, it is not like that. It's pretty easy to get to point A and point B, but be assured you'll see some orange barrels along the way. The second thing that people um, kept talking about, the Ohio weather. People are not moving here to Columbus, Ohio because of the weather, I'll tell you that. Um, and this was what everyone has to say. Um, it, it can be gloomy here, especially in the winter months. Um, I'm originally from Northeast Ohio, and the one good thing I would say about Columbus, Ohio, is you're not in the snow belt. So up north in Cleveland, which is about two hours away, you get the Lake Erie snow effect. You get lots of snow, you get a lot more gray weather. Down here in Columbus, you do get snow. So the kids do get snow, you can go sled riding, there's some ski resorts you can go to, but it is not going to be debilitating, which is good. You do get the four seasons, so you have the nice spring with all of the trees budding. The red buds are all over here. When you look at the scenery, it's so pretty. During the spring, you have the summer months, you know, get 90, 80 degrees, cool weather. Um, winter is winter, but it's not horrible like it was when we lived in Chicago with all of the snow. We also lived in Salt Lake City, and it's not those kinds of winters. I would say it's a pretty mild winter in Central Ohio, but it does get gloomy. One saying that people tend to say is if you don't like the current weather, wait five minutes and it will change because it's Ohio. So it's unpredictable, let me say. You could start the morning off really gray and dreary and then it will turn into a beautiful day and then by dinner time turn to snow. So um, that's kind of in a nutshell what the weather is like here in central Ohio. All right, the next thing kind of talking as we go from the weather, kind of a good segue is to talk about and a lot of feedback that I got when I talked to individuals was the metro parks here in Columbus. Now, coming from other states, you might not be familiar with the term metro parks. It is actually just parks that are part of the government, um, metropolitan parks. Um, we shorten it to metro parks, so it's kind of like green space, nature preserve. Central Ohio actually has 23 metro parks in the greater Columbus area, 280 miles of trails throughout. There's 20, what is it, 28,000 acres of green space. It's really just um, a great way. You're in the city in Columbus area. You have your big box stores, you have your small town stores, you have all of the restaurants, but you can go a short drive in you can kind of be into peaceful nature. When we first moved back to Ohio from, um, where were we last time when we moved back the second time? When we first moved back um, from Salt Lake City, one of the things that I enjoyed doing was going down to the Orange River at one of the metro parks that leads up to it and go creaking. You could see people creaking, you could see fly fishing, um, people having picnics. It's just a great way um, to get out, to get out on the nature trails. You can take your bikes. There are some other trails you can go rollerblading. So it is a great way to get out and get exercise and explore Ohio's nature. I touched on this briefly when I was talking about the job market and the job growth here with businesses being attracted to coming here because of the low cost of living. What, so what exactly does that mean for you if you wanna relocate here? It's affordable to live in Columbus, Ohio. We are 17% under the national average when it comes to cost of living. That's things such as utilities, healthcare, transportation, um, property, housing prices, tax. So what I wanna talk about, the groceries, food, utilities, transportation, all that is gonna be pretty darn consistent anywhere you live in Central Ohio. The one variable that you wanna take into consideration is gonna be housing, and with housing comes tax rates. So those are the two things that can either increase or decrease your affordability and cost of living when it comes to living here in Central Ohio. So sales tax, let's talk sales tax. 
state of Ohio has sales tax of 5.75. Then depending on where you live in the county, each county is going to have some additional sales tax onto that 5.75. There are days in Ohio when it's back to school that they do a sales free sales tax free day where you can go shop for back to school or anything and it's no sales tax. Um, the second part of tax that I want to talk about is income tax. So that is actually going to be variable and it's going to be important to you when you start looking at houses. So income tax is collected in anything that is a city or a village. But if you get to a township, there's not necessarily going to be income tax unless there's a certain specific special levy. But generally speaking, you won't have an income tax if you are living in one of the townships. So that's something to keep in mind when you are searching from home for homes. The other thing when it comes to housing is property tax. This is a big one. So if you're thinking of relocating here, be sure to factor this into your affordability and your budget for housing, because it really, it really can vary. And there is a difference between property taxes, depending on what city you live in, what school system um, your house is assigned to. So when you start going out towards the suburbs, your property taxes generally are going to be increasing um, depending on what school system is assigned to your house. For example, on average, a $300,000 house, your property tax can be about $4,000 annually. You bump that up to a $600,000 house, then you're looking at twelve dollars to $13,000 annually for property tax. You bump that up to a million plus house, you're in the 20,000 annually for property to pay tax, depending on where your house is located. So it's very important to understand that. One good thing I always tell my clients is um, go to the auditor site. You can go to the auditor site, whatever county you're in. You can go on an address, you can put it in. There is a tax calculator right there. You put in the amount of the house and it's going to populate what the anticipated um, property tax is going to be, which is really a good thing to help you determine your budget for housing. All right, another pro, and you've heard me say, talk about it a lot already, has been healthcare. There is exceptional healthcare here in Central Ohio. So we have the second um, rank number two is Ohio State University healthcare system number two in the state of Ohio, then also ranked number eighth in the state of Ohio is Ohio Health. Those are major hospitals here. Um, then if you look, if you go to the north, two hours, we have Cleveland. If you go to the south, two hours, you have Cincinnati. Um, Cleveland has the Cleveland Clinic, which is actually ranked the number two hospital system in the world world. So um, you have really easy access to that. Cincinnati has an amazing children's hospital as do we. We have a nationwide children's hospital here. So healthcare um, is a big thing and the access that you have to it here with living in Central Ohio. All right, a big thing, um, a big pro about living here is sports. So people say, okay, what professional sports do you guys have here in Central Ohio? We do have some professional sports. We have the Blue Jackets, which is a hockey league, and we also have the Columbus Crew, which is a professional soccer league. We don't have a football, professional football, and we don't have a professional basketball team. However, um, people would they will argue with you, we do have the Ohio State Buckeyes. Um, Football is huge here. So we have Ohio State Buckeyes. If you go out on a Saturday on a game day, there's gonna be no one at the stores. They're all home having Ohio State parties, watching the football games. Columbus, Ohio, Ohio in general is a big football community. So we're talking big high school games. Friday nights is huge. You know, I would, you can't find anything bigger other than maybe in Texas or South Florida, but Friday night football, high school is huge here. It's competitive here. Families go to the games. Um, other types of sports, golf is huge here in Central Ohio. We have two of the top golf courses. One is in Dublin, which is Murfield, and one is in New Albany, the golf course. 
golf club rather. And there are lots of communities um, that are on the golf course. For example, Murfield, which is in Dublin, Ohio, hosts the Memorial, which is a professional golf PGA tournament in which the city um, it has a lot of activities, a lot of nightlife that goes on with the memorial. A lot of parties are being held. Um, a lot of the homes on the golf courses having social outings. It's a real fun time. We also have a minor league Clippers team. It's a farm team for the Cleveland Indians. Um, although we don't, like I said, have professional baseball, football, or basketball, we have Cincinnati and Columbus again, two hours and two hours. Go to the Browns, um, my team, the Cavs, we have the Indians, go down to um, the Bengals, and then you have the Cincinnati Reds as well. So you are set when it comes to um, sports watching or playing sports here. So I, I think as I'm, as I'm ending this, the one thing that really you'll see my excitement kind of and what I kept getting from feedback of people who live here is they kind of summed it up as local. So maybe it's that mid Midwestern small town vibe, but people support local. So what does that mean if you live here? It means there's a ton of awesome local restaurants. There's a ton of awesome local shops, downtown Delaware, Bridge Park, Upper Arlington. You have meat shops in Bexley. You have downtown Pow, Worthington, um, donut shops. You have local coffee shops. People from Columbus support local businesses. We have a ton of local breweries. Yeah, we, we still have the chains and we still have the big box stores, but if you want that local vibe, that vibe that gives you a little culture, that vibe that's a little bit creative, um, that vibe that's a little bit unique, we have it. All right, so that sums up the pros and cons. I hope you found this informative. If you have any questions, want more information on anything, comment below, send me a text, send me an email, give me a call, whichever way you want to reach out, I will get right back to you. I love helping people relocate here to Central Ohio. Again, if you like this content, please hit subscribe, hit that button, that little bell button to get notification of when new videos are uploaded. I look forward to talking to you. Thank you.